I started maternity leave with my second child, Bella, in December. She was born on the 22nd last year. Um, and it really gave me the idea that when I wanted a bit more flexibility from a childcare point of view, because I've got two children, Zach who's three and Bella who's nearly one. Um, and really my current job wasn't giving me the work-life balance that I wanted. I started off really wanting to be a fashion designer. So my first fashion design I remember doing at seven years old. My mum entered me into a competition to design a wedding dress. And it was something I just fell in love with from that point. Um, so I really always wanted to be a fashion designer. So I went to university um, at the age of 20 and I went to London College of Fashion and studied fashion design for women's wear. Um, I really enjoyed it. I also had the opportunity, also had the opportunity to um, be sponsored to study a master's in marketing for fashion as well, which I took and went up to Scotland for a year, which was brilliant because MS paid for the whole thing and something I had always wanted to do and also made me feel like my fashion degree wasn't a waste of time. So I did that. Um, I was then tied into MS for another three years because they'd paid for it and um, really enjoyed it, but then felt that actually I've got a lot of skills that I'm not putting to use at the minute. So really the whole thing combined with having Bella um, all made sense that really I should start thinking about my own business. This, the real idea came from um, Zach and Bella's clothes. So I had absolutely shed loads of Zach's clothes at the time and obviously finding out I was having a girl, um, I didn't know what to do with the clothes and I couldn't part with anything. I literally couldn't, I, put, I started sorting through everything to put in bags and I literally couldn't throw anything away. So I made some bears out of them. So I made a memory bear for Zach and I made a memory giraffe for Bella out of their first baby grows. Um, and then I think the sewing came back from that point. So I really enjoyed getting back into sewing. Um, and then I started making clothes for Bella um, and people started complimenting me on it. And then I just thought, right, I've got to go for it now. I've just got to make a living out of doing something that I really love, plus something that'll give me the flexibility to do it. So we're 10 months into it. Um, and the brand really, is becoming a brand is exactly what I wanted it to be so it, it's not just children's clothing now it's um, what I call mummy accessories so everything I do is really about how I can make a mum and dad's life a little bit easier so at the minute I'm working on the mums because all the fabrics I use are very feminine so I do things like um, nappy clutches so when you're out and about if you don't want to take a great big nappy bag out with you you can carry just a nice little pretty clutch which has got some wet wipes and a nappy in it little things like coin pouches things that you can put into a nappy changing bag that you won't lose so lots of things that I'm trying to do are to kind of have the benefits of making life a little bit easier and I've tried to translate that into the clothing as well um, with everything being quite easy to get on and off and also most of my clothing is reversible so when you're out and about if you do have a spill or food which you normally do with children you can just quickly whip it off turn it around and you've got a nice clean outfit on so I'm trying to kind of give everything a little bit of a benefit and then in terms of where I'm going to go with the brand I've also got ideas so I did a handmade market in Barry Island um, Railway Museum not long ago um, and although it was quite quiet in terms of the people who came through there were a lot of dog walkers down there so I'm going to move on to dog clothes which a lot of people have laughed at but a lot of people have also said they really want it so I'm going to start doing some dog coats because I think around here there's so many dog walkers and so many people who really could find the need for it and um, my sister's already ordered one so hopefully um, they'll go down really well so I'm trying to expand in terms of what I do I'm learning every day from what people want um, I I do a lot of custom orders as well so if people want something specific then I can tailor it to their needs as well um, and then hopefully it'll just kind of keep building really that way.